Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are shining the spotlight on this. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2-pack featuring Leonardo vs. Rocksteady. And it's produced by Playmates. Okay, so I purchased this at my local Walmart, uh, I want to say maybe a little over a week ago. Um, it kind of took me by surprise just because I don't keep up to date with a lot of the uh, the TMNT uh, toy news and I didn't realize that Playmates was um, re-releasing these figures as two packs. So at my Target, I mean at my local Walmart I ran into this. Um, this was the only one on the shelf um, and the price I think was about before tax was $34 and I think like something odd like 72 cents or something weird. And um, I couldn't pass it up. Um, I already have the Leonardo, but I think part of the reason why I got this is that it reminds me so much of the NECA two packs we've been getting. And those are pretty expensive. Those run about what, like, I want to say like maybe $60. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's how much the NECA two packs go for. Um, but I saw this and from a distance, I thought it was a NECA two pack. Until I got closer, then I'm like, oh wow, it's it's actually a Playmates one. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at this. I'm pretty excited. So as most of you like longtime Ninja Turtle fans will remember, Playmates, they've kind of had the license on the Turtles for like seemingly forever. Um, at least for like, at least for the, um, you know, the, the kitty play toys. Uh, growing up in the 90s, Playmates had their line of TMNT figures and, you know, throughout <laughs> throughout the decades, which is crazy to say, you know, they've always released some sort of new iteration of the Turtles, whether it's based off of a cartoon or an animated feature or a live action movie. And I kind of think that due to the popularity of the, the NECA 2 packs, um, I think Playmates, they're trying to maybe capitalize off of that and ride NECA's coattails and re-release some of their larger figures in 2 packs as well. And I'm not against it. I'm all for it. I think it's a great idea. And, um, yeah, we have this in hand. So examining the package, as you can see, it's, it's kind of a large box. It's comparable to the size of a NECA 2 pack. Um, the graphic imagery looks really nice. It's very reminiscent of, you know, the classic cartoon. Uh, there's the Nickelodeon co uh, logo in the corner. Uh, we have the very familiar uh, tried and true uh, TMNT logo up here. Uh, great window that frames the figures. You got Leonardo. Uh, he's dual wielding his katana blades. You have Rocksteady with his giant machine gun. And he also has, it looks like a machete. Um, underneath the figures, you can see each figure has its own display sand that looks like a sewer top or manhole cover. And this is recommended for ages four and up. Um, on the side, uh, more of the same, that kind of like that classic TMNT kind of like graphic imagery, very cartoon comic book like. And on the back, uh, we kind of have the call sheet for all the different figure sets. So, uh, um, t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, let the fight for New York City begin. So we have the turtles on the left and all the villains or rebels as they're called on the right. So there, we have the Shells versus the Rebels. Uh, team TMNT is led by its tactical, level-headed leader, Leonardo, who slices and dices with his twin katanas. He's joined by his brothers Donatello, the techno genius who spins a mean bow staff, the aggressive and fierce Raphael, wielding his sharp-to-the-point twin Sai, and Michelangelo, the free-spirited master of the nunchuck, nunchaku. Uh, can the turtles defeat the foot and protect the streets and sewers of New York City? Only time will tell. And then we have the villainous rebels on the right. We have Shredder's Deadly Foot Clan has recruited a team of menacing mutants to battle it out against the turtles. With the sneaky warthog Bebop, the hard-headed rhino Rocksteady, and otherworldly alien rebel Triceraton by his side, is Shredder and his dastardly dream team too much for the turtles to overcome? Okay, so this is a great set. Um, I love the design of these figures, uh, just because they take they take that cartoon aesthetic, but the figures are sized up, 
So they're much larger than the smaller, like, you know, traditional turtle figures. And these have, you know, multiple points of articulation, you know, bring it in line to like something like with Marvel Legends. Uh, the one thing that kind of like bums me out is that uh, TMNT figures, they're so hard to come by nowadays. Um, you know, with the exception of like, you know, any of the cartoon toys, but the NECA figures are like impossibly to come come by, um, especially if they actually have a turtle character in them. You know, some of the other newer sets that don't feature a turtle character or one of the more traditional villains, those will kind of like sit on the shelves for a while. But anytime there's like a two pack with one of the turtles or something with Shredder or like, you know, Splinter or something, it, they just fly off the shelves. And, you know, such was the case with this. When I was at the store, this was the only set they had. And over here at the bottom, they're kind of giving you a checklist of the other sets. So you have Leonardo and Rocksteady, which is this. You have Michelangelo and Bebop, Raphael and Triceraton, and Donatello and Shredder. Um, so, you know, if you're a completionist, and in this sense you have to be, because if you want a, the entire set of turtles, you need, you need to buy in each individual set. So it might be a challenge to find some of these. And for me... Right now, I'm just kind of one and done. I just wanted this one set just to check it out. Just because I know it's going to be kind of challenging to find all these at retail. And I'm not sure if I want to fork over um, the secondary market prices on eBay or Amazon. But for now, this this kind of um, this kind of whets my appetite at the very least. So let's get this popped open and check it out. And I believe it opens from either the top or the bottom. I'm going to opt with, uh, I think, um, uh, let's open it from the bottom. I think there's less hassle opening it from the bottom. Thing does not want to cooperate with me. Give me a moment. There we go. All right, there's actually three strips of tape holding it down, which is all right. I mean, anti theft measures, I guess. Um, All right, so first impressions of the figure while they're still in the tray. Uh, they look awesome, and if if you already have these figures, um, it might it's nothing new. It's, you're not treading any new water or anything like that, or treading any new ground. Um, but it it is a nice looking set. You know, it's just a cool looking two, two pack. I love how you know they have each character. You know, on opposing sides. It would have been nice if, if they packaged them actually facing each other. But this this will do. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to actually remove these completely from uh, um, the package. Because um, they're, they're not twist ties. They're actually held in place with zip ties. So I think I'm going to leave these in the package for now. But I could review this figure um, loose just because I do have a loose one. Um, so you also get uh, the action figure stands, and it's kind of nice because each one's personalized. So you have Leonardo, and then you have one for Rocksteady. Uh, so as I've mentioned before, these figures aren't necessarily new. These are re-releases. So what you could do if you want to check out the articulation, you could probably jump onto like YouTube and just hunt down a video where someone will review it uh, fully. Uh, so I apologize that I'm not going to review this you know, completely. Uh, if anything, this is just more of an impressions video. I just want, so, you know, if you're thinking about this, at least this kind of gives you a closer look at the figures and helping you decide whether or not you want this or need this in your collection. Um, but as you can see here, uh, it's, they're really nice. The paint application is very clean. Uh, Playmates, as a toy company, they've been around forever. So, you know, the quality of their toys is pretty much on par with something like Mattel or like Hasbro. Uh, the articulation is very evident here. Uh, the, the head's on a ball joint. 
Um, he has a ball and socket for the shoulder at the arm, bicep cut, uh, double jointed elbows, um, wrist articulation. Um, they have swivel below the breast line here, uh, thigh cut, double jointed knees, ankle articulation, foot bend. Uh, the fingers are articulated. Um, likewise, um, Rocksteady has almost just as much articulation as Leonardo, um, but he doesn't have the articulation or the foot articulation, and I believe his fingers are kind of just locked in place with the trigger hands. So yeah, the sculpting's really well done. They're very, they're very clean. Um, they did a great job of taking the animated uh, models that we see in the cartoons and it's bringing them to life and in toy form, but. Like I mentioned before, these are a lot larger than the traditional smaller uh, turtle figs, and the articulation is really spot on with like you know what you expect with like the modern toys. Even though these figures have been around for a while, so this is not the first time these action figures have been released. Uh, for example, um, here's Leonardo. I don't know if this was the first time uh, the character was released or if this was a re-release. Because Playmates are notorious for always just re-releasing figures. Um, so this was labeled as a classic collection figure. And I kind of believe maybe they used that terminology just because at the time, you know, we had Mattel that were producing DC classics. Um, and, you know, there was the Masters of the Universe classics. So I think they were kind of trying to use that familiar terminology. So classic doesn't always mean it's a, it's a reproduction of a vintage figure. Classic sometimes refers to the fact that the character is based off of a much more classic, iconic look. And, you know, such is the case here with Leonardo and his brothers. You know, they're based off more so what they looked like in the cartoons. Yeah, so this figure is pretty much identical um, to this one. And this figure came out many years ago. came out back in uh, 2012. Yeah, so you're looking at a figure here that's, you know, roughly nine years old. So, like I said before, Playmates, you know, they're one of those companies that, you know, any they're known for, like, re-releasing toys over and over again. But it's nice, though, because, you know, this is almost ten years ago. And with the popularity of the NECA Turtle figures, you know, it, it only makes sense for Playmates to, like, jump on board and ride their coattails because they already have existing molds of, the, of these larger figures. And the one thing you're getting with these figures, as opposed to like the um, the NECA figures, is that you know these these are a little bit more kid friendly. Um, you could play around with these with a little bit more confidence, knowing that you're not going to break it. And even though the NECA stuff's nice and the articulations there, you know it's still a, a little bit more on the collectible premium side. And sometimes toys like that they're not always meant to be handled as roughly, or and they don't have the same durability as something like this. And right now, we're kind of seeing a renaissance of, like, turtle toys, because I believe um, Super 7 have their ultimate figures. So right now, if you're a turtle collector, you know, there's there's an action figure for you. You know, if you want something that's a little bit more on the kiddie side, but it still feels, like, um, slightly premium, you know, you have something like the Playmates. If you love the NECA stuff, um, you know, if you enjoy their, their high quality of their sculpting and their painting and their package design, you know, you have that. And if you're kind of into that, you know, much more selective market, like which Super 7 provides for, like their ultimate line, um, you know, that, that those take things a little bit further also. You know, those exist too. So there's different price points for the Turtles right now, a giant selection of different figures. And it's just, it's just neat. If you're, a, if you're a Turtles fan, you know, now couldn't be a better time. And then here, you know, the package design is very similar to this one, you know, 10 years later. You know, they're still using the same kind of, like, uh, graphics, cartoon imagery. Um, the graphic design is very similar. Um, they're using the same fonts, the same color scheme. So, yeah. So, I mean, if you could find... Right, so, I, I was very lucky. I was able to um, get the entire set of these guys I got this on Amazon maybe like three years ago and I want to say I want to say I paid maybe $60 for all four of them which is a great price considering that this one of these is you know $34 
So, I mean, you might have to do some hunting, but I have a feeling that with the popularity of turtle figures right now, uh, there might be a price increase of these figures on a secondary market. But they're cool. I, I enjoy these a lot. These are these are a fun alternative to the NECA stuff. It's a fun alternative to the um, Super 7 stuff. And for me, it's it's kind of hits that nostalgic chord just because it's actually produced by Playmates. Like, for me, I associate Playmates with the turtle toys for, like, you know, forever. So... It's kind of cool to get, you know, the actual characters and the, the actual licensed product from the flagship carrier, you know, the company that's been carrying the line for so long. But that's not to take anything away from, like, NECA or, like, Super 7. Their stuff is superb as well. Okay, so let's wrap this video up. Um, again, I apologize if you were expecting a full review, you know. Um, oh, yeah, I did promise you a chance to look at the at least this guy articulated. And let's do that right now. Um, okay, this is something I got off of Amazon. I believe I paid $40 for it. Um, and I, again, I bought this maybe like three years ago. So this here um, was a mail-away. And there was a uh, third-party seller on Amazon. And they were selling the mail-aways. So the way you got this set is that you had to um, collect pizza points... And the pizza points were like, um, they came included with um, some of the turtle figures that were on the store shelves at, at the time. Like, I think it was the ones that were based off of the Nickelodeon cartoons. And, you know, you, you buy the figure, you know, they're like, they're like budget figures. They're like $10 figures or whatever. And they'd come with like a little coupon and they were called pizza points. And then the more pizza points you accumulated, it, it, it's kind of like a reward um, buying system. So the more you bought, the more points you'd accumulate. And then you'd be able to mail away and get something. And apparently this was a pizza point reward. So if you collected enough pizza points, you could send it into Playmates. And then they'd send you this. And this is cool. It's the same figures that we were just looking at, but they'd send you the entire set of figures. So in my head, you know, there's a possibility that Playmates, they probably just have like a, a planet worth's worth of like... Um, and turtle figures, you know, they probably have some warehouse where it's just all it is is filled with like these overproduced turtle figures that they never sold. So, and, you know, it's probably some marketing genius's idea like, hey, you know, we'll encourage kids to buy toys and they collect pizza points and they can redeem those pizza points. And at the same time, we could lose some of our inventory and get rid of some of these excess figures, which I think these figures, you know, were or are. So you do get all these different figures. But one noticeable difference with these is that um, I want to say, oh wait, I take it back. All right, I stand co corrected. All right, so these figures are not the same as um, as this one. For a second, I thought it was. All right, so th these figures are not the same. Um, I'm looking at them now. I think there might be some part reuse or maybe not. All right, it, there's a possibility that some of the parts might be reused, but looking at these closely, uh, these are these are based off of movie turtles. Okay. All right, so I stand corrected. For some reason, I thought these were the same thing. Yeah, so what I have here are actually movie turtles, but they, they share this very similar um, engineering to the to uh, this guy here. So they have you know the ball jointed neck, they have the swivel under the breast line, they have the socket for the arm, the th uh, bicep cut, double jointed elbows, the articulated fingers. Yeah, so I'm actually taken back. I always thought that these figures were the same as this. I should, I guess I should have just actually <laughs> taken them out and displayed them. Um, and one thing that gave it away instantly too was that on, on the cartoon turtles, they have their initial on their belts, where on this guy, they don't. Oh, so uh, I'm like an idiot here. I should have known better. Well, anyhow, this is a cool set to get to. So, um, again, if you're into this style of turtle, they're very much in, in line with like a Marvel Legends. Um, hunt them down on eBay. And you have two choices. Like I said, you have either the classic version, which is the comic book one, or you have the much more semi-realistic movie version from the live action. Okay, so I feel like an idiot. For some reason, I thought they were the same figures, but apparently they're not. Okay, so let's wrap this video up. Um, uh, let me grab that two-pack.
All right, so is this something you need? Um, uh, well, I'll say yes. If you're a fan of like the Turtles and you're looking for a uh, much more al al affordable alternative to the NECA stuff, yes. Um, this is considerably cheaper than the NECA stuff, but it's going to be, depending on where you live, just as hard to find. Um, the articulation, the playability is really high in my opinion, especially since these are more like toys and premium collectibles. So I think they're worth buying. If I had to rate them numerically, an easy nine. Um, that's not being generous either. Um, these figures do what they're supposed to do. They're 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 almost perfect renditions of the cartoon characters, but with modern action figure engineering. Even though these figures are almost ten years old, the engineering is still pretty high in in my opinion. You know, these could still hang with modern figures. So I think they're worth a purchase. They're worth hunting, but. Um, yeah, just kind of stay, if you could get it with at retail price, stay within retail. I don't think you should pay, you know, above retail for this, you know, and if you, if, if you do want them that bad, you might, it might be better off, um, hunting them down as the single figures when they were released 12, I mean, 10 years ago as single characters, because then you might get it, find them for a decent price. Or if you could find them loose, I'd consider that also just because these figures are pretty durable. Um... And if you can find a, a collector who's selling them loose, you know, that might do you some good there. Uh, so wrapping this up, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your likes, comments, and your support. I appreciate it greatly. For me, it's always fun uh, when I engage with um, other collectors, you know, especially, you know, every now and then a, a collector will mention they're from a different part of the world and it kind of blows my mind. Uh, so it's always fun to see that, you know, there's like-minded people across the globe. So until the next video, um, take care of yourself, be safe, collect lots of toys, and most of all, be happy. All right, until the next one.